fun time of year. So let's hear this cheer. Give me an L. L. Give me an O. O. Give me a V. V. Give me an E. E. What's it spell? Valentine's Day. Love. Okay, Miss Jill. It's all on you now. Bye. Thank you, Miss Joyce, and rah rah it is. So who knows what we celebrate on February 14th? Listening. That's right, Valentine's Day. I like Valentine's Day because it's a time when everyone stops what they're doing in their busy schedules and they tell the people who are important to them that they love them. Most people do more than just tell those special people that they love them. They do something to show their love for them. They might give them a fun gift, like a teddy bear. Who doesn't like teddy bears? They might give them a special Valentine's card, or they might prepare a special meal for their sweetheart, or send beautiful flowers. I'm always up for beautiful flowers myself. They might even write a love letter to their sweetheart. Did you know that God has written a love letter to each one of you and me? The Bible is God's love letter for us. The Bible tells us that God created each of us and that he loves all of us, no matter what. It doesn't matter how many mistakes we make or what kinds of bad choices we make, God will still love us. God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to live and walk here on the earth. Now during his years of ministry, Jesus taught us a great deal about love which we learn on Sundays when we do our lessons on the different parables that Jesus spoke about. Still today, Jesus teaches us that it is not only important to love others, but it is also important to show our love for others. In the Bible, we find a verse where Jesus said this, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. Now that's in John 13, 34. Isn't it great that we have this amazing love letter, the Bible, to remind us that God loves us and to show us how to love others through the examples of his son, Jesus. I know that there are many people in your life that you love. I hope that you will do more than just tell those people that you love them. I hope you will find ways to show them that you love them every day and I also, want you eat, I also want each of you to remember that God has sent you a love letter. And in that letter, God promises that he will love you no matter what. So here's a little prayer. God of love, we thank you for giving us the greatest love letter of all, the Bible. Help us to use that love letter as a reminder of how much you love us. Help us also to find ways to love others as Jesus has loved us. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. Now you should have received your craft package by now. It's really pretty easy. Looks like this. I've started mine a little bit early. You just scrape the heart. Your scraper is taped to the back of your heart. It's easy peasy. So you just scrape along. And I'm not going to do all of it because it's going to take a little bit. Mr. Scott probably doesn't want to hang around that long. But you can see that there's something written underneath of it. So take your scraper and just scrape away and have fun. Like I said, easy peasy. We're also going to have this in there for you. So what does it say? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And look at that valentine, pretty neat. So you can print this off, you can color in the valentines if you want, hang it in your room to re remind yourself. And keeping in mind about God's love for us, stay tuned as we begin the season of Lent. 
where we will find out just how great God's love truly is. Remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, keep them away from your face, and say your prayers. I'll see you next time when we begin a new season. Have a good week and happy Valentine's Day.